Hi everybody, it's Hugh. Pleased to be joined by 2003 Masters Champion Mike Weir, and we're going to play a little What's in the Bag as Mike gets ready for his 25th appearance at Augusta. Mike, let's talk about the driver, the President's Cup head cover, of course. Yeah, of course. You know, we got uh, our team logo. This is our uh, our shield for our team, international team. And underneath that is uh, this Cobra Dark Speed that I've had in for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've been very happy with it, um, doing some testing and uh, has a great fade bias, which is, uh, you know, for a lefty at Augusta, a lot of right to left tee shots, so it sets up very well for me. Yeah, so the club is, is almost specific to the course in, in this case, right? Yeah, yeah, it really helps to, be, you know, for a lefty to be able to fade the ball off the off the tee there at Augusta National. So. Let's talk about the other woods. Yeah, I have, uh, here's a five wood and three woods still, dark speed. Um, we did testing with the three wood uh, with Kyle, and uh, this was definitely the winner. Um, we, we made a few adjustments. Um, these clubs come in handy at Augusta, you know, <laughs> I, I'm even into some par fours. Uh, the, the course is long and, uh, you know, these clubs will be well used there. Hybrid. Hybrid. Uh, I have this TaylorMade uh, QI-10. Um, I've been back and forth with the ping, which is very good too, but I, I feel pretty versatile with this club. This is kind of the nice mix from going from five wood to uh, having something that can still get in the air and hit, you know, 225 yards. You're known as a great iron player. Let's uh, talk about the money makers, the irons. Yeah, the irons. I'm in the, the Titleist uh, uh, T150s, which I've really liked. On the Champions Tour, I might not carry the, the four iron, and I probably carry this 50 degree. At Augusta, this 50 degree wedge will come out, four iron will go in because I'm hitting so many long irons in. And, um, I want that versatility near that end of the bag. And we'll wrap it up with the putter. Yeah, this is, uh, we're not still not sure yet, but this is what <laughs> I've been using so far. Um, I, I definitely probably have a Voki in, in the, in, or sorry, a Scotty Cameron in, in the bag, but um, this is what I've been using lately. And um, it's a great putter. Uh, I think it's more me who haven't been, haven't been making enough putts lately, but um, we'll see if this one's in or another version of it. Are, are you a bit of a tinkerer when it comes to the putter? It's the most personal club in the bag. Do you always go back kind of back and forth? I mean, once I find something, you get a nice run with, with a putter, I'll, I'll stick with it. But throughout the course of my career, I've used mallets. I've used, uh, you know, a number of variety of different uh, style putters. Um, you know, we're all trying to find something to, to make more putts. But I would say most of my career, I've used a, a traditional uh, toe hang type putter. Now, I, I, when you were doing something else, I took a, a sneak peek into your bag here, and there's a couple of things here I don't recognize at all. Maybe you could walk <laughs> us through those. <laughs> okay. Uh, one is that I use quite a bit is, is David Ledbetter straightaway. Um, this really helps, you know, it not only helps me, it helps a lot of amateurs get the start of the swing right. If we can get that first couple feet right, um, you just clip this on the shaft, click it on there, and you just line up this line that it gets on your target line, on your toe line, and then from there you just kind of turn up to the top. So this is a great little thing. And then lead has another little thing that I use, this uh, this kind of boomerang that I use it for either arm. So sometimes we get a little disconnected with our arms from our torso. I put this under my, my trail arm to wind so this elbow doesn't get pulled too far behind me. And sometimes I put it on my my lead arm so I can get a little more release here and, and again, not, not pulling across too much. So you can put tees under your arms yep. as well. You see a lot of golfers with tees under their arms trying that, but this is just a nice little thing to, Always to use. Always constantly trying to improve. I love that. Now, yeah. let, let's talk about the most important thing in the bag, which is of course snacks. <laughs> uh, of course, what do you usually go for? Uh, I'm a big PB and J guy. Okay. Uh, I, you know, in my hotel room, I'll, I'll be at the grocery store, get a loaf of bread, peanut butter, jam, make that stick in the bag. Usually have a bar in there, maybe a piece of fruit, an apple, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely am trying to, you know, s stay nourished out there and, and need some snacks out there to keep me going. Got to keep that energy up, Mike. All yeah. the best. Good Thanks luck to you. to you, my friend. Appreciate it.